the, the true happiness, and I found this in myself, the true happiness is allowing myself to be as I am. No longer trying to change myself in any way. No longer to try and fix myself. No longer to try and uh, desperately avoid all the negative data like fear and anxiety and nervousness. You know, or either indulging or replacing, which I was very good at. Replacing all my negative data, thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences to uh, positive experiences, you know, trying to, yeah, just, just replace. Oh, I didn't think that negative thought. I had to think something positive quickly, make up for it, <laughs> so that I can feel that I'm still a good person. You know, really um, a lot of hard work, a lot of energy going into all of that replacement. And I didn't even realize that I was doing it to such an extent until I came to this training and I was... Um, really introduced to, to relaxing moment by moment and allowing everything to be as it is. And there was this complete openness at how I had been treating myself and how I had been dealing with life by indulging, replacing, or avoiding, really avoiding relationships in, in so many areas of my life. In probably in all areas of my life, <laughs> without realizing it. And coming here and, and, and seeing that so clearly with the support of the Four Mainstays and seeing that um, I can completely empower myself through the support to open up to all relationships, to open up to all... Um, experiences, all data, everything, all my thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences. Really see that it is this opening intelligence. I can allow them to be as they are and see that they naturally dissolve. They naturally undo themselves like a knot in a snake. So there is nothing for us to do. They just, it happens all on its own. And so we can stop the struggle. We don't need to struggle anymore. And we just recognize that complete ease that is always present, that complete happiness that is always present. Isn't it a relief just to allow ourselves to be as we are? I mean, we, we're recognizing that more and more here through this training and through um, coming to the center and really engaging ourselves, immersing in the four mainstays really the, the, the Four Mainstays lifestyle. And this ease just pervades, this happiness pervades, not looking a certain way, not looking a certain way, not feeling a certain way. You know, we could be really um, feeling all kinds of fear and anxiety and nervousness and depression, sadness, whatever it may be. But when we just relax for that short moment, we see that nothing needs to change. We just are as we are in that very moment, completely aligned with reality, nothing to avoid. Because whatever comes up doesn't affect open intelligence at all. The data, this dynamic energy, this beneficial potency is completely inseparable from open intelligence. The only way that we know that we're experiencing all of that is through this power to know, through opening intelligence. So in every moment we just expand completely into our limitless capacity, this incredible opening intelligence that's just inexhaustible, it's boundless. And it really does fuel our, 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 our power, you know, seeing that we are naturally so powerful and so graced. Isn't that beautiful? That really touched me deeply. The more we just relax, we see that our, our, our natural way of being is so graceful. This total grace and eloquence and gentleness and care in everything that we do. It just becomes more and more obvious because we're no longer trying to hold on to a certain identity or, or um, acting from, 
from the, from the data. <laughs> That's all just relaxing, and we see that our natural movement is just so elegant and, and graceful. And at the same time, really so potent. You know, it demonstrates complete stability. I mean, it's, it's so incredible. This complete mental and emotional stability that is already present, that is our birthright, that we're becoming more and more familiar with. So even when fear comes up, just relax right there and, and just see where does that fear really go. It spontaneously arises, it flowers, and it naturally dissolves. And even thinking of the future, that's happening right now. It's happening right now. So even thinking of the past, that too is happening right now. It's all happening right now in this very moment. So we just relax and allow that to be as it is. Allow that fear to be as it is. Because in, in that, you, you just see what is of most benefit. You know, not focused on the fear and on the descriptions, but really feeling this fear for yourself and for everyone that's feeling fear. Can you imagine? Wow, how many beings feel fear? Goodness me, all of us. <laughs> I'm sure at one point or another. And so f just feel that power, feel that energy, feel that incredible connection with, with, with all beings. So when you relax, you really are taking on that full responsibility and you're demonstrating that we can all relax in our power of great benefit. You know, you can allow fear to be as it is. There's complete fearlessness in fear. Fear is just another datum, just as everything else. It self-releases. And it was such a beautiful question about your strengths, gifts, and talents. <coughs> now, what do you enjoy doing? Just see what you really enjoy doing. There's just this natural passion that you enjoy doing, right? Now, that's definitely one of your strengths, gifts, and talents, because it's just something you really heartfeltly want to contribute to yourself and everybody. It's just this complete movement. And our strengths, gifts, and talents, it's it's innate. We, we, we start to become familiar with what we enjoy doing, what we, we're really good at, you know, and how we can contribute and how we just start to innovate and, and create. And it's just unbelievable. It is so expansive. And we see that, you know, here in the community and, you know, worldwide, you know, in all the different communities, things are just beautifully created and... and uh, put together and uh, everyone collaborating with these exquisite ideas. And of course there's data that comes up about all kinds of things and um, yeah, that's completely fine. You know, we don't have to... Um, the data is, is really information as well. It's not because, you know, we should... Um, not do things because it makes us happy, and that's a data. We just allow that to be as it is. <laughs> you know, of course, if you really enjoy doing something, fantastic. It's just that passion. I mean, that's beautiful. You know, um, but you're not limited either. So if there's tasks that need to be done that you've been asked to do, like for myself. Um, I didn't think I had a talent <laughs> in proofreading or, you know, reading. And I was asked to do that, and that was a complete nightmare. I was like, oh, no, you've asked the wrong person. <laughs> I'm terrible at that. <laughs> but through the support of the Four Mainstays and really relaxing with that fear and that not being good enough, I can't do this, really relaxing and, and taking that on, I was amazed. You know, I discovered something about myself that I had no idea I, 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 could, I could do and serve in that way. You know, so one never knows. You've got this complete um, ability to, to be so open to all kinds of things and, and just see from there 
what your strengths, gifts, and talents are. Because we're discovering more and more and more in every moment, every day, you know? So that's where we see we are just completely limitless. So, so you, you'll know. You'll know what you want to what you want to do and what, how you want to contribute and, and share and where you just want to expand and yeah and that's um it comes it unfolds naturally you know it doesn't have to be a decision made right now you know it unfolds naturally just yeah it will be it will become very clear it will become clear yeah, and I just wanted to say about intimate relationships, just from my own experience. <laughs> um, you know, I too had that idea that I, I've really got to find someone in order to be happy and um, fulfill my life and, you know, whatever it may be. And I also saw the total gift of, of giving myself that time and so first it was a year, you know, especially after the empowerment. Yeah, I can commit to a year, okay. And then it just naturally became more and more time that I wanted to give myself um, to really get to know myself, really everything about myself, every datum that can come up, get to know it, become familiar with it, and, and see that... Um, no person, place, or thing will bring me happiness or well-being or stability or fulfill me in any way. So I'm just getting to know that everything that I want is already here. You know, I'm, I'm already naturally perfect and completely complete and I can be of total benefit. And I'm so open to life as it is. But I'm giving myself that time to really get to know myself. Yeah. And of course, we all have these ideas and data that still come up about, hmm, oh, isn't he lovely? Or, you know, <laughs> what about, you know, <laughs> all kinds of things. That's so fine. That's so natural. And there we just allow that to be too. You know, it doesn't mean because we have an idea or a data that pops in our head that we have to follow it. We just enjoy the display. You know, and as you shared so lightheartedly, you know, it, it is humorous. Because fundamentally, we know what we want. You know, we know that we want to gain confidence in open intelligence, in our power and potency. First and foremost, you know, there's that total commitment and devotion. And then from there, it's completely open. Yeah, we see in every moment what is of most benefit. <laughs>